All right, this is what's going on here. I have two uh, Raptor 74 uh, gig 10,000 RPM drives on a uh, RAID 0. And here's the sound you never want to hear from a RAID 0 as it boots up. I have a disc that has gone bad. So what I'm going to attempt to do using Macrium Reflect is to restore this back to its original condition. All right, these are my new drives that will be going in. They are uh, Western Digital Raptors, 100, uh, 300 gig uh, hard drive at a 10,000 RPM. Now I ordered two of these exactly alike. Uh, from what I understand, if you do a RAID 0 uh, or 1, you have to um, use the exact same kind of drive. So I have two identical drives and uh, no pins. And I think, as for now, that's how it has to be. No pins at all, uh, no jumpers there. So I should be good to go with these. So my first attempt will be to um, stick these in the computer and see what happens. All right, this is uh, when I made a backup of the entire computer uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this is my recovery disk uh, using Macrium Reflect. We just pray that it works. And then here is uh, where I've stored the image for this computer to work again. Anytime I do a backup, I take uh, the disk and I put it in a case and I just, uh, the best thing I've learned to do is just tape it to the side of the computer in which it's for. So that's what this is for. So we're going to uh, boot up and see what happens. I am uh, rebooting the computer, booting it up, after I have set the uh, RAID already. But I, want, I wanted to show you what that looked like. For uh, my motherboard, I click F10. Uh, once you have the RAID section set correctly uh, in your BIOS and your setup, then uh, when it comes up, it searches for that RAID. And so I wanted to show you what this looks like after it's set up correctly. It says right here, yes, this is my boot device. It's healthy. And it shows you Stripe 558.92. That's uh, 600 gigs approximately. I have two 300 uh, gig drives in there. And let me show you the detail of that. If I press Enter, you'll see that that Stripe is made up of these two uh, disk drives right here. Okay. So that's working out pretty good. So if I return, I go back. Now, what happened was, as I originally booted up the computer, I clicked F10, and the first thing I had to choose from was what type of RAID I wanted to do. Uh, technically speaking, they're 0, 1, and 2, uh, but my computer referred to those as striping or to mirror and a mirror would be a RAID 1, which would be uh, two disk drives and identical information on both drives. Uh, but on a stripe, what you're doing, that is RAID 0, is what we call a stripe. Uh, each piece of data is uh, being split 50-50 between the drives. And I use uh, that type of RAID uh, setup because this particular computer is used for uh, rendering video and music and it's just a whole lot faster than just a regular drive plus these drives are super fast and so my work goes uh, a lot faster that way anyway I wanted you to see what that looks like uh, once you have set up your uh, stripe and then we will go and we will boot up from the uh, rescue CD and see what happens from there alright I am booting the computer now after setting the stripe like I said I had to click on uh, F10 as the computer was booting up for the first time with the new drives in it. It gave me a RAID menu, and um, so that's what I'm waiting on right now. Okay, I had to go back into, I had to pr uh, press F12 on my uh, computer for it to uh, boot to CD. It is now booting to CD, and you'll see that it says Windows is loading files. 
and actually what that is is the recovery disc uh, coming up and when it comes up I should have a, a lengthy menu to my left and uh, I will choose at that point to restore and we'll, we will see how well that works at that time. Okay, you will see here that uh, Macrium Reflect is coming up and it's uh, searching for plug and play devices. Hopefully it will find my external hard drive that I'll be using. I'm going to accept all these things and click on continue. And then you will see I want to restore an image. Next, uh, here is my drive right here. Here's the CD-ROM drive you'll see. There's my recovery disk and this is the drive in which I placed the restore onto. I'll go to next and then it says select the partition you want to restore and it will be that click next now see this is the important part if you have striped your drive correctly notice here it says uh, disk 1 NVIDIA stripe 558 uh, and it says empty this is two drives um, technically but the computer now sees it as one drive now when I tried it before it was seeing it as two so I had to go back and rerun my RAID setup program and so we will do th this and we'll go to next this will be active I'm going to use the uh, entire drive and we will go to next do not check it reboot verify image next nope replace with master boot record from backup yes and that should be it we will finish and now it's loading the files and we'll let you know how it goes in probably an hour or so alright so as you see uh, my restore is complete everything is back as it should be one of there were two things I was very concerned about number one is my Sony Vegas software uh, my Sony Vegas I no longer have the CDs for I've been paying for upgrades for the last few years, but there's no CDs. I was very concerned that this restore would take away my licensing, but as you can tell, and it comes up here, you can see that Sony Vegas comes right up, and there we go. And these files, all these audio video files, are actually read from a slave uh, that was left in the CD in the uh, computer. So I just want to let you know that it worked. I'm very happy. It, the uh, entire process took me about three hours to finish um, from getting the computer booted back up, putting in the uh, hard drives, and uh, redoing the RAID stripe. And the restore process took a total of about three hours. So um, I love it. Macrium Reflect. It was worth every bit of the 30 or $40 I spent on it. And uh, I'm good to go. Thanks. Bye.